a few days ago, I finished reading the book Healing is a New High by Bex King and it has been one of those books that has completely changed my life and I've learned a lot of good things and good nuggets from this kind of books and I have been recently obsessed on self-help books and spirituality based books quite a lot and this is one of those books that I've definitely read after reading the other book that I've made a review on which is right here or here. So if you're interested to find out the five things that I've learned from this book or more then please keep watching this video till the end. Before I begin with the five lessons that I learned from this book, I want to make sure that you know who is Vex King and who is the author of this book. So Vex King is actually a Sunday Times best-selling author for the book that he has actually previously written, which is known as Good Vibes, Good Life, and also is a social media influencer and star and a mind coach as well that I also follow on Instagram at Vex King. And he has completely changed my life in terms of how many quotes and daily inspiration that he actually puts up on his Instagram. And I definitely highly recommend for you to follow him on Instagram as well. So now let's move on to the five top things that I actually learned from this book. So with the book, actually he begins in one particular chapter or the first chapter even talking about the seven, I think seven bodies that the human body has and how all of the seven bodies have to be working together to make sure that healing process actually happens. Now, if I repeat all the seven types of bodies that actually he has talked about, then it will take very long time, which is why I have included a screenshot of all the types of bodies that we actually have in our bodies and what those bodies actually mean so that you can have a look at it and see what it actually means and everything like that so you can pause the video right now and check those out but other than that let's now move on to the physical body and what you can do to make sure that your physical body is healing as quickly as possible so the first things first the physical body needs to make sure that you are releasing as much as negative energy as much as possible to create a good amount of space for the good things in your life and you can also do this by making sure that you're making space for the things and releasing tension from your body as much as possible so the way to actually do this is very simple is by taking a deep breath in and out as many times as you can and in that way your body actually relaxes and in that way you're making sure that you're making space for good things to be actually appearing into your life and entering into your life and I think this is a really good way to actually release tension as well whenever you're actually doing any kind of maintenance work for example your work or school work anything like that and you get too stressed you can just release your body and release the tension by putting your shoulders down maybe or even taking deep breaths inside and out. When it comes to the etheric body, you want to make sure that you're self-focused rather than others focus, which means that you want to focus on yourself and what you're actually talking about. And whenever you're having a conversation with someone, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to your own words rather than thinking that, what is the other person thinking about me? Because whenever you think about others, that's actually a very unhealthy perfectionism, which is why you want to make sure that you're self-focused as much as possible whenever you're talking and you focus on yourself rather than focusing on others. And this is something that not everybody can do. And whenever we are actually worried about about what other people are thinking about us this can be a really hard task but I assure you that whenever you start focusing on yourself your life will change for the better when it comes to the astral body this is a very important one that I struggle myself and that is to actually practice setting boundaries as much as possible and sticking to them and repeating to them as many different kinds of people as possible but that one example that I always give in my videos is going to a party for example even you know that going to the party will actually make you feel good for a short period of time but for the next day whenever you have an exam it's going to be affecting your grades it's important to let your friends know that you don't want to go and you're actually practicing setting boundaries in that way and in that way you're actually making sure that you're also respecting yourself because you know what you don't like and what you like and the more you know what you like and don't like the more people are going to be respecting you as well and if you do self-respect then of course naturally you're going to be respecting or attracting even those people who respect you back so you want to make sure that you're practicing setting boundaries when it comes to healing your mental body or your mindset you want to make sure that during your rough and tough times you're not actually putting yourself too much pressure on actually healing yourself too quickly because sometimes healing can take a very long time and for some people can actually take years so you want to make sure that you're not playing yourself victim by make by telling yourself that oh I'm not gonna get out of this or this is too much hard work I'm never gonna achieve the success that I want to see in my life so you want to practice mindfulness as much as possible and making sure that you're actually taking your time by healing because sometimes whenever we do something which is too quickly done it can actually backfire us even worse than before so you want to make sure that you're taking your time with your healing and don't pressurize yourself to be healing too quickly or more quicker than necessary so yeah that will be the way to actually heal your mental body 
I really like the way Vex King actually mentions how spiritual body should be healed and likes to make sure that you're accepting yourself, who you are, and do not think about what other people are thinking about you and how they see you as, because that's really irrelevant and that's not none of your business in a way. So you want to make sure that you are accepting yourself for who you are. At the same time, you dare to hope to be the best version of yourself as much as possible in the future. So dare to have big dreams, big goals, big ambitions, and how your lifestyle will be in the future, and dare to hope that your life will be good and is already good even in the present moment but also in the future it will be amazing and even better than right now so you want to have this kind of practice mindfulness and practice this kind of mindset and tell yourself these kind of things every single day to make sure that your spiritual body is also healed from within when it comes to the cosmic body, you want to make sure that you're building a self-care routine that you actually dedicate yourself to on a weekly basis, at least once a week, I would say, to make sure that you're giving yourself time and energizing yourself and doing things that you actually love doing. In that way, your mental health state and your all other bodies are actually going to be feeling really good and healed at the same time. Because throughout the whole days, you're always taking tasks from others or taking orders from others. But in those moments, in those one day I would say you're actually giving yourself time to actually heal yourself and giving yourself time doing things that you actually love in that way you're also helping your inner self to actually enjoy things that she also used to love as a child or he used to love as a child so this could be for example you know doing something like a spa care routine or going to um, going to a football match and playing football or something like that depending on what you like you want to make sure that you're building a self-care routine when it comes to the nirvaric body, also known as the most important body in the book, you want to make sure that whenever you're feeling stuck in yourself and you feel like your freedom is being restricted and you don't really feel as free as you should be and as liberal as you should be, you want to make sure that you're doing all those things that your inner self loves doing a lot. For example, this could be going to a park and swinging or playing football or, you know, doing makeup, whatever that might be. You want to make sure that you're doing some things that your inner self really loves doing and feels free at those moments whenever you're doing those activities. Activities. For me, that could be, for example, painting or making some coloring or anything like that. That makes me feel really free and energized and it makes me feel like that I'm really excited and I'm doing something that my inner self is really enjoy doing. So you want to make sure that you're doing these kind of things and it, this can also include adult kind of things, for example, meditating or taking a day off in the middle of the week or asking for help whenever you actually need it. In that way, you're actually healing your nervaric body, which is very important and I think the most important one as well. Well, this brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this quick review on the book Healing is a New High by Bexkin, which I highly recommend. And in my videos, I don't actually make reviews in a sense that I give this four out of five or anything like that because I believe that these kind of books should be taken as a guide and you should take as many lessons as you can so they can apply into your life which is why I don't really like giving ratings and stuff but this book is highly recommended from me especially if you're somebody who has a really bad past and somebody who is still working and working through the wounds and they don't really know where to begin from I think this book will really really help you with that and it's kind of like a really good guide but if you have any other book suggestions then please do comment down below I'll definitely read it and make a video like this similar in the future but other than that i will see you in my next week's video